Thanks for joining us in this edition of Renovation Time. Well, we're in this beautifully renovated kitchen, and this is very, very typical to a lot of homes in the Peterborough area. In fact, I grew up 10 homes from this house, uh, so it's my old stomping turf, and there's some great memories when you come back to areas like this, and you remember all the fond memories of you growing up. There, this was an older kitchen. It was probably the original kitchen of the home. Uh, flooring was original. It actually was red. The countertop was red and there was a couple other red things in here. So uh, design wise, we didn't really modify or change where everything was. We left the fridge where it was, left the stove, uh, but we updated the kitchen, the countertop and the flooring as well. And actually they're just redoing all the hardwood. And a lot of homes have the old 3 8 hardwood in the home. Uh, so this is all being refinished right now. So there's a bit of a smell to the house. The, the one thing I really like about this kitchen is the rusticness of the actual cabinetry. And uh, they just picked a, a really nice rustic cabinet. And you can also see in the light valance, there's a big knot going through here, but it just adds to the character. And the other thing I really like about it is the handles. So the poles that are on here, they kind of just blend with the cabinetry itself. And uh, that's originally we used to do, you know, you do a white cabinet with a chrome pull. But now what we're seeing is we're doing a dark cabinet with an actual dark pull. So they sort of blend with the cabinet. And the other thing we talk about too is just the crown molding to the ceiling. These are eight foot high ceilings. So you have your typical uh, size upper cabinets with the light valance and we are doing a tile backsplash here. And then you have your face with your crown on top and again the knots going through. Ceilings aren't perfectly square so you know uh, one thing when you're putting the crown up and that's when you want somebody putting a cabinet in for you. You want somebody who really knows what they're doing so they can make sure everything's level but these ceilings are not level they're probably out by half an inch um, from one side to the other the other nice feature in this is just again just a simple thing but the drawers are in a great location for the stove didn't have a lot of room around the stove uh, to put it we could have basically put everything to the far wall and had a small cabinet here but to be quite honest I like the look of this and you lose a little wee bit of storage but instead of having you know an eight inch door here we just put two solid panels in here with an upper cabinet and then finished it and then we stepped stepped it in uh, at the window so again just gives it a little bit more detail and then we put the valance with a couple pots so when we come back next week we're going to talk about the flooring and the countertop that's going in here renovation time is brought to you by and in kitchen and bath center visit their showroom at 1985 lansdowne street west just west of braley drive